So I've been a pretty die-hard user of Splawn amps since 2016. Um, I wanted one since I was a little kid uh, when I first found out about them, but it was, it was 16 before I got around to getting one. Got several other scents. But first thing that struck me about amps from Scott were how rich the tone was. Of course, that's you know what everyone looks for. But it wasn't until I played one that I realized how incredibly touch sensitive they are. Um, you can be just as super distorted as you can be, just saturated and everything else, but then just lighten up on your pick. I mean, you, you can roll the volume up, but you don't necessarily have to. Just lighten it up on your pick, and all of a sudden it just cleans right up. It's really, really fun to play. But, I tell you, the most fun thing happened when I went in in 2016 was, and I had no idea, I went in and there were no amps in the store. Now, if you're in North Carolina, you can go visit the shop and do what I'm getting ready to tell you. Um, but if not, you, you know, you do it via phone or email. But they're all the same. They're made to order, which means they're custom designed. And so you get to go in and decide, well, I don't know, is it going to have a plexi head box or an 800 head box? Do you want to have cutouts in the head plate? Do you want to have a gold plated, you know, control panel? Do you want uh, what color grill cloth? What color piping? Tolex? Like everything. You get to design your own amp. So, I mean, each one can technically be one of a kind, which is amazing. They're all still going to have that amazing splawn sound. Now, that being said, I, I realized that he was hand making each amp. And that just blew me away. And I realized that, man, there's probably not many people out there that fully understand that Splawn amps are 100% built by hand. Um, it's a one-man operation. Like, there's no shipping overseas and, and, and having it mass-produced. The man is able to make about two or three amps per week. So it's truly, truly boutique. Truly customized boutique amps. And they are of the highest quality amp you're going to find anywhere. Um, but what I thought would be really neat, I was going back in and having another amp built, um, another 100 watt head, and this time I was, you know, this obviously this one's a little bit more of the traditional look of an old plexi. I thought, man, let's do something a little bit more, I don't know, just something not so traditional, a little more exciting looking. And um, it hit me, wouldn't it be a great idea to go in and film Scott making this entire amp and then let the viewers watch and see and you can see like firsthand that this man literally starts with a sheet of plywood and turns it into well, the beautiful amplifier you're going to see. Um, so that's what I did. We filmed and obviously there's it takes a long time, lots of hours, so there was a lot of chopping down of footage. Um, and, but you're going to see Scott start from one sheet and build an entire amp. And uh, I really hope you enjoy because I tell you, it was a blast for me to watch. The man working was like nothing I've ever seen. It was like watching a dance. Like it was so fluid. He never misstepped. He never had to sit around and think like, what, what's next again in this process? Which size screw do I use? Everything was just flawless. Um, now, really cool bonus was I was able to, to patch in kind of a montage of concert footage from myself using the amp and you're going to see it in a lot of different genres with a lot of different sounds so look for it in the background of all the scenes at the very end and you'll see this incredibly beautiful machine i uh, hope you enjoy watch scott go to work plywood we use is um, baltic birch and it's actually a five by five sheet and what we do is when it comes in we cut it in half on the panel saw it works out better for us because you can get one 412 cabinet out of one 5x5 sheet without with very little waste and um, instead of a 4x8 sheet which would waste a lot of material. What we do first is whatever we're doing, heads, cabinets, 
Everything is cut out on the machine. Like this is a, a whole stack of 100 watt bottoms. So we just do those, we cut those out and in a series and have them for stock. Then we assemble each piece on the assembled bench here. We'll glue everything up, and screw it together, tack it, and let it dry for 24 hours. Then we'll do a we'll do a belt sand, and then we'll do a we'll take it over on the shaper and put a radius on it, which will be like this after it's done. And then once it's at this point, we'll do a fine sand, a finished sand, put any extra cleaning that needs to be done, and then it's ready to go next door for covering. Very little waste. I'm just gonna put this in here for now. Cause I gotta just see, we'll take it back out and we'll strip it. And I'm putting it in here now just to, to square it up. this one dry overnight and we'll finish it up. All right, the chassis, they're made out of 16 gauge uh, cold rolled steel. We cut them out, cut all the holes and everything. Then we bend them up with the, uh, with the box brake, weld all the corners, and then send them out to uh, a company in, in town here to have them uh, zinc plated, electroplated, so they won't rust. And then we 
start assembling the chassis now. We'll start putting it in the tube sockets and all the, the basic hardware. It starts from scratch like this and then we take this is all our resistors and everything so this goes and turns into this this is the finished product of a main board
Bulls out here. Pick them one time.